Nahum chapter one, verse two, and it reads, the heavenly father is jealous and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord have his way, hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Thanks, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. But God's for people here for bed. The Lord will not at all acquit the wicked. Who's the wicked? The people that's running the earth right about now. So now with their elites, the elite bank, the self-proclaimed so-called white man. They're known as the wicked according to the Bible. Starting off with their elites, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Offenheimers, the Shooken Groovers, the Bushes, the Clintons, so forth and so on, right? The Lord said he would not acquit the wicked. He would not at all acquit the wicked, right? And let's, and let's get that definition for the word acquit. Let's get it right quick. I just just saw just something quick. This devil messing with my page. I uploaded a video early this morning. I uploaded a video like six something this morning. It took like 14 hours and some chains to upload. So that famine of the word, when, when they kick in Israel, you Israelite men and women, you hold for legs, you better get this word while it's still popping, man. Why this word is still coming out hot and heavy. You got the elder apostles, you no know saying prophesying. Going to say like um health health things, you know what I'm saying like walking and eating good and all that. You see, all all the above, man. Working out things of that nature. Get it while you can. Get this information while you can, because soon come it's not going to be accessible, right? And I, I want to get this definition. Y'all yeah, uploaded a video early this morning, and it just now uploaded, probably like thirty minutes ago. I'm like, what? Took like 14, 15 hours for that video. It's like 14, 15 hours for like what? A 22 minute video to upload. 14, 15 hours, but it's all good though, because we're at the end of this man's society. And like the scriptures have said, Am I therefore become your enemy before, because I tell you the truth, right? Let's get this again. A quit. Let's play it. A quit. Let's see. A quit. A quit. A quit. Free someone from a criminal charge. By a verdict of not guilty. See, his um judges, you know what I'm saying? His wicked, evil judges, they won't be able to get him off of this right here, this charge. You see, he will not be acquitted this time, right? He's not going to get away scot-free. He commits all these crimes and he can just ride off into the sunset scot-free. No scratches, no bruises, no bumps, no nothing, right? You see, with, with a big bag of money, right? Then all that's about to be done away with, right? Acquit. Clear, exonerate. The Lord said, I'm not clearing this man anymore of his crimes. You see? I'm not, I'm not going to declare this man innocent of all his crimes. This devil's going to have to pay for what he did wrong. And that's what he don't like. So, so this video might not stay up. Because we're bringing out the truth of what's going to happen to this devil. He's going head first into captivity. The man, woman, and the child. You see? And, and bear with me. Oh, yeah, but but the Lord's not going to quit this devil, right? Release. He's he's going head first into captivity, right? It says free, set free, deliver. No, the Lord's like, no, I'm not delivering this man out of his wickedness anymore. He's going to have to pay for what he's been doing, right? What does it say again? Acquit, free someone from a criminal charge by, the, by a verdict of not guilty. The Lord said this man is guilty as charged. Uh, well, henceforth the saying, he has been caught red-handed, guilty as charged. Nahum chapter 1, verse 3, the Lord is slow to anger. Matter of fact, let's go, let's go up some. Let's go up, verse 2. Nahum chapter 1, verse 2, the Most High Yahweh is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord Yahweh revengeth. That's why we're just sitting back. Sitting back just doing videos, right? Not taking matters in our own hands. So the Lord said, vengeance is his. The Lord said, vengeance is mine, right? It says, and it's furious. The Lord, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh, shall take vengeance on his adversaries. 
on his adversaries, and he reserved wrath for his enemies. The Lord has wrath reserved for his enemies, right? It says, um, so starting out with sleazy and these heathens, man. You see? Got wrath reserved for him, man. Just holding it, man. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. And and would not at all acquit the wicked. I, th I thought the God of the Bible loves everybody. You got the majority of our people, they don't want this devil. They see, that's, that's the thing about it. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, every time we do something wrong, right, don't we got to pay for it? Every time we do something wrong, don't we got to pay for it? But, but if even our people want these devils to get off scot free to us from that was a long time ago. Really? That, that's what you're saying. The God of the Bible said, I don't, I don't care how long it was. They're going to have to pay. The Lord said, I don't care how long it was. He would not be acquitted for his crimes. Would it say? The Lord is slow, slow to anger and great in power and would not at all acquit the wicked. But once again, you got our people trying to get this man scot free for what he did to our people, man. Starting up with the so called natives, you know what I'm saying? The tribe of Gad, the tribe of Reuben, Issachar, you know what I'm saying? The so called natives and the Latins, Ephraim. Saw what this devil did. And then what he did to the southern kingdom, you know what I'm saying? So called Negroes, um, Haitians, and Jamaicans. And when, what he's still doing to all 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. The Lord have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. And the clouds are the and the clouds are the dust of his feet. I want to get a scripture. We we go through this all the time for for you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Do you quickly say it happened a long time ago, right? Oh yeah, them, them so called blacks. They don't they don't deserve reparation because that happened a long time ago. But the damn small hats, no saying, are getting reparations. Hell, the small hats are getting billions of dollars. No saying every year from Babylon the Great. And what happened to them happened a little while ago, right? So we the only people on the face of the earth that has to forget what happened to us, right? Put strap up your boots, right? Well, that's what we're telling these heathens. Strap up your beats, boots, get ready for that ride, man. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. I ain't brought this scripture out in a minute. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. It reads, That which have been is now, and that which is to be. Have already been talking about us, our spirits. We've been here more than once, right? It says, um, what it say? And the heavenly father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus, required that which is past. What happened to us? It don't matter if it was a hundred years ago, it don't matter if it was 200 years ago. Bear with me and move this thing. It don't matter how it don't matter if it was a thousand years ago. The Lord said he required that which happened to us in the past. So that let bygones be bygones. I'm saying that was a long time ago. Get over it. Uh, is it. We're living in a different time period. Throw it out the window. The Lord said this man, when he would not at all acquit the wicked, man. And everything that we're seeing going throughout the four corners of the earth is leading up to these people going here first in the captivity. That's, exa that's exactly what it's doing. Everything that happened to us is going to fall upon all these heathens. I want to get that too. Let's just get this. this is something quick, man. Lord, one of the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, I edify, right? That's what we do these videos for. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7 in the reads. And the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies. Remember, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, verse 15 on down, it's going to be dead on you. You heathens are going to have to wear that soon come. You heathens are going to have to wear that soon come to self-proclaim so-called white man, the Chinese, the Japanese, the dyehead East Indian, the musty armpit smell of Arabs, um, the doo-doo eating Africans. If I didn't already say them, I'll say them again. The Hawaiians, all of them, man. And whoever that I didn't mention, you see, the Lord created 18 nations. 17 of them are going head first in the captivity, captivity up on, and I'm excited right about now. 18 nations created, 17 of them are going head first into captivity, right? He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. Y'all don't like what we bring, no scriptures are right? Videos like that, hurry up and get taken out because they don't like the truth. You see, they promote lies. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses, all of them upon thine enemies and on all them that hate thee which persecuted thee 
And this, and this is the say the Lord. And this is the gospel. All right. This is the gospel. This is the good news. Everything that happened to us, the Lord gonna put it right on them. The Lord gonna put it right on them. And I, I want to get this. Go to Lamentations. Because everybody's getting a kick out of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and then they're making this being on the bottom of the totem pole. Everybody's getting a kick out of it, man. They're getting a kick out of seeing us in the poverty-stricken neighborhoods, right? They're getting a, they're getting a kick um, seeing our people all strung out on drugs and shit. Hell, hell, these are least they get a kick out of seeing Eve, you know what I'm saying, like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 different baby daddies. You know what I'm saying? 19, 19 offsprings by 15 different men. They get a kick out of that, man. You see? They, they laugh about that at the table. But then Eve think that's cute, though. You know what I'm saying? Eve think having 10 different baby daddies, she think that shit is cute. You know what I'm saying? That, that hood credit, right? Gone. Lamentation chapter 1. They have totally destroyed our people, man. Go on, man. Uh, Lamentation chapter 1. Let's see. Lamentation chapter 1, verse uh, 21. They have heard that I sighed, meaning these heathen nations, right? Our adversaries, right? Our enemies, right? They have heard that I sighed. There is none to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou hast done it. So these heathens are glad at the, at the predicament that we're in. And they're fighting to keep us in this predicament. But then you got, look, these heathens don't care if we live or if we die, right? But then soon as something happens to these heathens, who, who you got running to their aid? The Israelites. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, especially that damn B-Dub, she's going to hurry up and run to Sleazy E's aid. Even though he been putting his foot sideways in the crack of her a s s s s s s e s yeah yeah I, I I added some extra s's. They love this man, you see. They love this man, but what does scripture say? They have heard that I sight. They see the hell that we're catching. There is none to comfort me. All and the scripture say, and though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. So only the only thing this devil do is pretend to help us, right? We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, right? It says, all my enemies have heard of my trouble. They see the hell that we catch it, right? They, you think these heathens don't know that we're the first ones fired, last ones hired? You think these heathens don't know that, that we're, we're, we're catching hell? And it's hard for us? You think they don't know that it's hard for us to survive in this place? You think they don't know that? Yeah, they know that. The people say, that, look, look, they are glad that thou has done it. So when the Lord, you know what I'm saying, reversed everything and start putting on hell on them and, and double, according to the scriptures, we're going to be glad. We're going to be glad, right? It says, they are, all, they, they are glad that thou has done it. Thou will bring the day that thou has called, and they, meaning these heathens, shall be like unto me. So the hell that we're catching, they're going to be catching it, but double though. And the thing, and, 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 the, and the most crazy thing about it, they ain't gonna have nobody to pray to. They ain't gonna have nobody to pray to, cause everybody they was praying to on this side is idols, man. All these heathens, they ain't gonna have nobody to pray. To. They ain't gonna be able to pray to um, Jesus. They ain't gonna be able to pray to Allah, Santa Maria, the Hindu god of Shiva. Uh, none of that nonsense. Now, uh, them Egyptian gods. The duty eating Africans, they're not gonna be able to pray to their Egyptian gods. You know what I'm saying? The Kemet gods and all that. They're just going to have to hold it, man. It says, let all their wickedness come before thee and do unto them as thou has done unto me. Payback. Payback for all my transgressions, for my sighs are many, and my heart, meaning that mine, is faint. All we do is sigh and cry. But that's how the Lord wants it. The Lord says, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, right? And, and then the thing about it, who else Who else can we cry to? Nobody. I want to get this Jeremiah. Was it 15? These heathens don't care about us, right? So why, why? If they don't care about us, why should we care about them, Israel? If these heathens don't care about us, why should we? Why, why, why? Why should we care about them? And you know they don't care about us? Sitting up these damn puppet ass leaders, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come a lot. You know what I'm saying? Come a lot, so, Fire Marshal Bill, Sleepy, Sleepy Joe, Sleepy, Sloppy Joe. You see? 
making mockery of you Israelites, man. You see? The whole shit is a joke. You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah 15 and 5 in the reason. For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Who's going to have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? The Israelites, or who shall bemoan thee? Who's gonna cry for us? He's got who's gonna moan for us, right? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? These people don't give a damn if we live or die. Once again, they don't care, man. So they're not gonna ask you how you doing. They're not coming to you talking. We want to help pay your rent. We want to come help pay your light bill and things of that nature. No, they want to see you catch more hell, which is a condition played out on earth. But it's almost over. The Lord said the triumphant of the wicked shall. Matter of fact, just get that. Just get that joy right quick. Open for him. I'm, I'm all over the place with it, but, it, but it's all good, though. It's all good. This is Jeremiah. The, um, Job, the 20th chapter. Just remember, Israel, soon come, we'll never have to see these devils ever again. Just know that. After they serve us for a thousand long, drawn out years, we'll not, never have to worry about seeing them ever again. That's music to my ears. That's music to my ears, man. Job chapter 20, verse 4, and it reads, knowest, not, knowest thou not this of old? Since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. So though it seems like this devil has been ruling a long time, it's really short, especially compared to all eternity. The biblical, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, guess what? They're going to rule for all eternity in Israel. You see? Never a sad day, never a toothache, never a backache. You ain't got to worry about your knees or none of that, man. Just smooth selling. Just got to make it through this right here. Just smooth selling. That the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Because they're nothing but big actors. They're nothing but big actors, right? It's as though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. Sleazy E, right? Yet he shall perish forever like his own done, like a pile of shit. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? This is the day we waiting on. As we work him to death, a thousand long drawn out years are just working him, working him, working him. Every day, man, for a thousand long drawn out years. Just imagine that, Israel. You see? Uh, look, along with these other nations, but the thing about these other nations, they're going to still be around. Sleazy E, Esau, Eden, a man, woman, and child, they're the only one nation of people that's going to be eradicated from off the face of the earth. The Lord is going to Obadiah 1 and 18, these heathens, right? The Lord is going to Obadiah 1 and 18, Sleazy E. That's what I meant to say. Sleazy E, right? Because once again, these other heathens, they're going to still be around. And they're going to serve us for all eternity, man. It's going to be beautiful. It says, um, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. You see? They, they which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, more like a nightmare, and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Right? The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. This is a beautiful day right here. Neither shall his place any more behold him. It's, it's going to be beautiful too. It's going to be beautiful to never have to see them ever again in life. Beautiful, Israel. And I want, I want to get this in closing. Like I said, what? just an open form right quick on the judgment that's going to befall these devils soon come. And it's going to be beautiful. Just we, we just got to hold on. Psalm chapter 149. Remember, the Lord said he would not at all acquit the wicked. So the Lord is going to require every, everything, all this wicked nonsense that this devil has been doing, the Lord is going to require it at him. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is going to require that at his hand, man. You see? Let's get this in closing. Psalm chapter 149. And I can bring out a slew of scriptures, man. But I, I'm just hitting some points, you see? Just got the damn slave ship. And everything that we go through on a day-to-day -day basis, these heathens are going to go through it too with double Israel. With double, right? Psalms 149. And um, five, let the saints be joyful in glory. 
The saints represents the Israelites, right? Let them sing aloud upon their beds. We're going to be in a joyous spirit in the kingdom. It's talking about in the kingdom, right? Let the high praises of the heavenly father be in their mouth. Kahalayim la, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, over and over and over and over and over and over and over, right? You see? Let the high praises of the heavenly father be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand. And you know what we're going to use that for, right? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. This is the good news. This is the good news. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. So the first people that's going to go into captivity, upon the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, the first crops, aka the first waves of slaves, is going to be the elites, man. The elites of all these nations, the elites of, of Esau, Edom, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Offenheimers, the Chicken Groovers, the Bushes, the Clintons. And these other nations too, man, like Kim Jong Un. You know what I'm saying Putin. You see, and I, and I can't think of all these guys. You know what I'm saying these gals. You know what I'm saying, but I know according to the Bible, they're gonna be the first ones to go head first in the captivity. Because Lord Yahweh is gonna have his his elect men go and grab them out of them bunkers, them underground bunkers, and out of the space stations, and out of them underground um them, um underwater. You know what I'm saying um bunkers and things of that nature on the other side of the earth. You see the the um, them mountain um they got they got um bunkers inside of mountains and shit hundreds of miles hundreds of miles man and they got they got they got they got goods they got they got um seeds they got vegetables uh, major cities up on the ground you see these devils got major cities up on the ground. So, so when it's time to go up in them bunkers, it, it ain't like you're gonna find like five or ten people. No, you're gonna find thousands of people. In those bunkers, thousands of people in those bunkers from all these heathens, and guess where they're going head first into captivity, right? What it say to execute upon them the judgment written? This honor have all his saints praise ye the Lord, and it's gonna be beautiful. So, I just want to just throw something out there, man. Just got off the slave ship. This devil, you know what I'm saying, have my video held back. You know what I'm saying for like 14, 15 hours. It don't take a 22 minute video, um, no 14 hours, 15 hours to uh, to upload. You see, you Israelites better get this word while they're getting this good, because that famine of the word is coming, man. It's fastly approaching. World War Three is fastly approaching. Cannibalism, race wars, class wars, civil wars, gender wars. The economy will eventually class. This economy with me will eventually crash. And this devil, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's going to be a restart with this devil making it mandatory, you know what I'm saying, that you take an implantable device in order to buy and sell. And after all that, after the end all, be it all, you know what I'm saying, Babylon's destroyed, all these heathens are going head first into captivity. He will not at all acquit the wicked. Shalom.